can do this. I know you can. You are in control. You own this mountain. It's easy to be. Skis in a V, turn to slow down. Skis in a V, turn to slow down. Skis in a V, turn to slow down. Turn, turn, turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Look at her. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you okay? I'm so sorry. You all right? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you took me out. Well, um. We we're in the way, sort of. First day? Yeah. Take a lesson? Technically, no. I observed. Well, technically, you need one. Uh, uh, you sure you're uh, all right? Yeah. Is that from a bruised ego? Yeah, thanks. Hey, don't quit. It's fun once you get the hang of it. Me? Quit? Never. And I'll try not to take out any more innocent bystanders on the way down. There you go. <laughs> Even if they are. Technically, in the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I can guide you the rest of the way down the mountain if you want. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. No, I'm perfectly fine. I will make it down this mountain on my own. Skis in a bigger V. Bye. Okay. Put your weight on your left leg. Right turn. It's okay. made it. Yeah. How'd it go? I stayed upright, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> you up for another one? Black home? Uh, and spend Christmas Eve in the ER? I don't think so. You know, I could uh, show you a few things you'd probably pick up pretty fast. No, but thanks. Um, Scott McGuigan. Olivia Young. Look, I appreciate your offer, but I don't like asking for help. You didn't ask. Technically. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, Christmas Eve. Right, so Merry Christmas, Scott. Olivia, Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was the best. You guys were great out there, snowboarding like pros. And Charlie wasn't a total chicken for once in his life. Danielle, it's Christmas Eve. Maybe you could be nice to your brother. What? I said he wasn't a total chicken. Two more kids' classes for tomorrow, please. Mom, our instructor said we're ready to take the gondola up Blackcomb. Blackcomb. We'll see about that. At the top, there's a lot of beginner runs. That's what we always do. It's super fun. Mom, this is Hate. We're going up with her tomorrow. She knows all the best spots. And are her parents okay with this? Yeah, and it's just my dad. It's fine. Right, Dad? You making plans without me again? <laughs> well, well. You have fun? Yeah. New York Islanders. Really? 100%. Who do you like? The Kings? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Figures. Never miss a game with my dad. Do you guys, like, know each other or something? Yeah, she almost killed me. <laughs> he was in the way. Kidding. Kidding. We just had a minor collision on the slopes. That's all. <laughs> Mom, can we go get something to eat? Yes. Oh, and can Hayes come with us? Our hotel is nearby. Can we, Dad? We're just down at the Fairmont. Come on, it'll be my treat. Cool. Follow me. Now, I'm glad she made some friends. Gets her off that iPad. Yeah, tell me about it. Did I just say that? <laughs> Becoming my mom. Well, we can't let that happen. We'll make a pact, an alliance, kind of like NATO. We'll pledge to try to stay relevant. So you're not, uh... Married. No, not anymore. Where are you? Dating anyone? Nope, I'm too busy. So that means... So no, that means I'm not in a relationship. Hmm. Neither am I. And I'm not interested in one either. And there you have it. <laughs> I just gotta get out of my ski pants. All right. I'll be two minutes behind. Okay, I got them. Okay.
Oh, it's been seven years now since she passed away. Sorry. Well, it's life. She's a spitting image of her mother. So what do you do? I'm a sergeant in the army. Says he's a mechanic, but that's not true. But I am good at fixing things, right? And he goes away a lot, but there's always grandma. <laughs> yeah, my mom is a saint. Okay, I'm done. Mm, Not yet. Gets. Now you gotta write your Christmas wish on the back. That's right, because at midnight, they light up that big tree outside. And they call it the wishing tree. And they send all the wishes out into the universe. Do they always come true? Mine do, but I use Santa as a backup. Just in case. <laughs> so why Whistler for Christmas for you guys? Um, a uh, certain someone canceled at the last minute. She means my dad. He decided to go to Belize with his new wife. So a friend of mine offered us her condo here. Soften the blow. She keeps saying that, but it's really because we haven't spent a Christmas at home since Dad left. Danielle, you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. We always spend Christmas somewhere else. Is it because he split two days before Christmas? That probably makes this time of year a little bit sensitive for your mom. You know? It's okay. Do be jolly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. So, who's gonna sing with me now? Deck the halls with boughs of holly. <laughs> Come on, you two, let's hear that Christmas spirit. Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> Good. Just look at all the beautiful families here at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. Oh, we're not a. Christmas is all about family, isn't it? <laughs> Daddy? Time to talk to Santa. Yes, ma'am. You're gonna go see Santa? <laughs> All right, you're up. Okay. Let's start at the top. <laughs> you know these princess baby unicorn dolls? Okay, I also want a new dollhouse. Broken down. Hey, sorry if I um, crossed the line saying something to Danielle back there. No, it's okay. She's right. We haven't had a Christmas at home in a few years. How come? I don't know. I've been so concerned about... But they seem fine. It's me. It's been a struggle. I think you've lost your Christmas mojo. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Maybe Santa can help. Want to go sit on his lap? <laughs> I really want gummy headphones because they're really yummy. And when I'm listening to music, I always get hungry. Well, do you have a Christmas wish? I do, actually. A new job. Oh. I've applied for several, any of which would get us out of L.A. Okay, thanks. But there's one in particular that I've got my eye on. Take a look. So we'll see. Good luck. So, Hayes, what'd you wish for? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't share our Christmas wish until after they come through. I see. Do they always come true? Well, of of course. course. It's, it's Christmas. Christmas. Maybe you're just lucky. Or maybe you're making the wrong wishes. Yeah, you should talk to Santa about that. He's a good listener. I will do that. <laughs> Before it gets dark, I'm going to take Hayes up to what she calls her special place in Whistler. You and your kids want to go for a little ride and join us? Yeah. Okay. Here, come hey. on. Come on. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How'd it go? Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great. Back at the hotel, our fa la 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 was. Oh, it was awful. It was terrible. It was so bad. Should we try this again? What do you Why think? not? Yeah. Hey, come on, guys. Amazing, stunning, breathtaking. I can see why Hayes calls this her special place. How did you manage all of this? Guy that owns the company's a former army buddy of mine. Well, thank him for me. 
Never did I imagine I was going to be on the top of a glacier. Especially one 7,500 feet above sea level. Yeah, especially. Over there. It's called Black Tusk. It's a stratovolcano. Beautiful. That lava dome at its summit was formed about 170,000 years ago. I think this is your special place. <laughs> yeah, I do. I love it up here. It's the size, the scope. Makes me feel like, like I'm a part of something way bigger than myself, you know? Just puts it all in perspective. From up here, I can believe in anything. I can see that. It's not so easy for me. Why not? I don't know. I'm glad you guys came up with us. Me too. It's getting late. Should maybe head down. Yeah. You guys ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. You all right? For the grand Christmas Eve finale. Wishing tree. Just wait. First, they're gonna turn out all the lights in the village, and then all the lights. Like every single one. I don't need my wish that bad. It's okay. It's okay. So, Charlie's afraid of the dark. Here. Here. This is for you. Look. Look. So you can always find some light in the dark. U.S. Army man. <laughs> So here, you can make a signal with this light for SOS, which means help. You do short, 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 long, 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 short, short, short. Cool. Here, you try. Now, anywhere in the world, people will understand that and they'll help. So no more being afraid, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Go put your wishes on. Go put your, go put your, go put your wishes on. Thank you for that. Sure. Hey, come on, guys. Hey, hey. Come on. Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Did you make a wish? Kind of. Good. And is the mojo back? <laughs> I think so. Merry Christmas, Sergeant McLeagan. Merry Christmas, Olivia Young. Thanks for sharing your day with us. It was wonderful, really. It was. I gotta it's get her down. Late. <laughs> <laughs> but if you think Christmas Eve was fun, wait till you see how we do Christmas Day, right? How can I say no to those faces? You can't. All right, 0900 hours. <laughs> That's 9 a.m. In the hotel lobby. Here, let me get your number just in case. Really? Uh, what? Well, yeah, you <laughs> look. If any broke, go ahead. There, all right. There. Okay, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. All right, guys, all right, let's guys. start to go, but not before. No. Start, start. <laughs> Do you want to use my new phone? Go. 
everyone's okay. Captain. Of course. Yes, sir. On my way. You gotta go, like, right away. <sighs> but it's Christmas. I know. But what about Charlie and Danielle and their mom? All right. Her name's Olivia Young. Tall, blonde, beautiful. She'll be here at 9 a.m. with two kids, a boy and a girl. Will you uh, keep an eye out for her? I'll give her that note. It's really important. No problem. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, wait here a minute, okay? What's your brother? May I call up to a guest room, please? Chateau Whistler Resort. How may I direct your call? Scott McGuigan's room, please. One moment, please. It looks like that guest has checked out. Checked out? When? Uh, about two hours ago. My name is Olivia Young. Did... Did he leave me a message? No, I'm sorry. There's no message. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, change of plans. Why? Where's Hayes? And her dad. They had to leave. Some family emergency. But it's Christmas, and we, the three of us, we're gonna have an awesome day, right? Awesome. <laughs> okay, get your stuff. Come on, let's go. office now. Is there a problem? When you started last month, did I mention the Fort Wilcox toy drive? It's our outreach program. Your predecessor took care of it, and now it's in your hands. Oh, okay. In December, it is this bank's public face. It's now your primary focus. And if Fort Wilcox is happy, our board is even happier. This will be your liaison at Fort Wilcox, Sergeant McQuigan. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, really? In this day of cloud computing and wireless backups and SIM cards, you actually expect me to believe that my phone number got completely lost in the ether? I had a flip phone. You <sighs> saw it. There's no cloud backups with those. I didn't know if you were okay or if you just stood me up. I mean, I thought we were having a good time in Whistler. We were having a great time in Whistler. And I didn't know if you didn't get my note or you stood me up. But I still tried to find you. Oh, you did? Yeah, you know how many Olivia Youngs there are in Los Angeles? Young is my maiden name. I go by my ex-husband's last name, Roberts, for the house. The kids. Oh, of course. Look, I feel awful that you think that I flaked on you. Can we just throw all that out and start fresh? When did you guys move here? Uh, about a month ago. My sister Heather lives here. Oh. I remember those jobs I was applying for. Sure. This is the one I really wanted. So your Christmas wish came true? Not all of it. Well, what was the rest of it? Oh, we don't tell our Christmas wishes until after they come true. <laughs> Olivia. 
Olivia, I'm a soldier. And when I get orders, I obey them. Even on Christmas Day. But we're going to be working together a lot on this. That's still an open question. Well, if you decide that you want to be a part of it, then you know how to reach me. And now you know how to reach me. <sighs> this is unbelievable. I mean, why doesn't this stuff ever happen to me? Did he say he has a girlfriend? Did he mention it? I didn't ask. He didn't tell. Uh, I'm not interested in a relationship. You know what? Sometimes I just want to throw some fun at you. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you in the face. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> Danielle's still mad at you for dragging her up here from L.A.? For putting her in a new school right before Christmas? For ruining her entire life? Yeah. yeah. Teenagers, so dramatic. There was no one as dramatic <laughs> as you. Don't worry about her, she'll be fine. Why can't I? Because you're too young to stand in line all night to buy a video game. Kelly's mom is letting her go. Oh, wait, Kelly's in L.A. and we're here. How could I forget? I guess that just proves that Kelly's mom loves her more. Or does it mean she loves her less? You're not funny. I'm a little bit funny. No, you're not. Danielle? Charlie? Hey! <gasps> wow! I thought I'd never see you again! This is so random. Do you, like, live around here? Yes! <laughs> really? Didn't your mom tell you? She saw my dad this morning. Hi, Hayes. Nice to see you, honey. My dad said you never got his note. Ah, oh, the infamous Olivia Young. Infamous? Well, I was involved in the great Olivia Young search. There was a search? I'll explain. I'm My Jill McWiggin, Scott's mother. Pleasure to meet you. He felt awful about leaving Whistler like that. But orders come when they come. It's the army life. Yeah, he, he told me today. That must be difficult. Well, I've never thought of it that way. My father was a soldier. My husband, my son. I'm proud of them all. Of course. Well, I'm glad that he found you, finally. Anyway, just, come on, Hayes. We have to go check out. Here, lovely to meet you. You as well. Come on, Hayes. Bye, Hayes. Okay, okay, I saw Sergeant McGuigan at the bank. He's the liaison for this outreach program I'm doing. I didn't tell you guys because... Because you hate him. No, I don't. Because you're mad at him. Well, I was. Oh, he tried to find you. He left you a note. Doesn't that mean something? <laughs> it does, but it's complicated. You know, we need bananas and apples. You already have apples. Well, then oranges. Come on. All right. No, I'm getting bananas. Punk. Don't worry, it fills up as we get closer to Christmas. With used toys? Oh, no, no, newer ones too. We collect all sorts of toys from local branches, <gasps> enough to fill a warehouse. The base liaison handles distribution. It's quite the undertaking. Where are you going? We can do better.
These are the ground rules, Sergeant McWigan. Our relationship remains strictly professional. This is going to be more than merely a toy drive. So we have 23 days to get this done. And I intend to make this the biggest and best event that Fort Wilcox and Coastal National Bank have ever had. So I hope you're up for it. Um, are you to say anything? Sounds like a big effort. Christmas used to mean something to me. I want that back. Do you know why I joined the Army? To serve your country, I suppose? Yes, proudly, but it's more than that. I like the feeling of being a part of something bigger than myself. That's why I like the glacier so much. Is that why you're a liaison on us? Christmas is important to these families, and I just want to be able to help. So yes, Olivia Young, also known as Olivia Roberts. I am up for it. OK. <laughs> You know, Hayes was so excited to see your kids at the store. Mine were too. Hard to believe they got so attached after just one day. Okay, so Christmas trees. I thought we were going to the Christmas tree lot. We are. I just have to do a few things first. What exactly do you do here in the Army? I'm part of a unit, the Army Rangers. We are on call, always. Where we go isn't discussed, nor is what we do. Olivia, the Army and my unit, my country, my family, it's, it's all part of the same mix for me. Hello. Oh, Scott, when I called you this morning, I said there was no rush. Hey, you send out an SOS and I show up with help. Help? What? <laughs> Becky Fowler, Olivia Young. I I'm nice to meet you. You Me too. Oh, oh this yeah. little guy's a kicker. <laughs> At least Joe will be home soon. It's our first. Olivia's in charge of the toy drive this year. It's oh, going to be more than that. Awesome. Thank you. This looks great. And I love the lights outside. When Joe gets back, he's going to be so thrilled. <laughs> um, Scott, I baked some cookies. I put a dozen in each bag for the two of you. Can you go grab them? Sure. <clears throat> I heard about you last Christmas, Whistler. He felt really bad about it all. You know about that? Yeah, my brother's in the same unit got called away just like that and they didn't come back until after New Year's. Wait, so do you really never know anything about where they're going or why? I've learned to connect the dots. Do you remember those hostages in Syria? They were rescued and reunited with their families at the White House on New Year's Day. Oh, yeah, I saw it on the news. Happy reunion, everyone in tears. I mean, I was crying and I just watched it on TV. It takes a pretty special team to go in there and do something like that. Are you seeing Scott and your brother? It's never discussed. No public recognition. No press conferences. They're the heroes no one knows about. Grabbed an extra bag for your lazy brother. But I swear he might not get any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Sarah. Is that Joey? This is uh, my neighbor, Sarah, and her son, Joey. I look after him sometimes when she teaches yoga. This is Olivia with the toy drive. Hi. She's helping the kids get toys this year. Do you know Santa? Well... Can you tell him I don't want any toys? I just want my dad home for Christmas. Hey. Hmm? I'm going to Skype with Daddy when I get home, okay? Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, Olivia. Bye, guys. When does his father get back? We don't know. Two-thirds of the base is deployed, and the family deployment center is shut down. Budget cuts, so it's going to be a pretty tough Christmas for the kids. I'm going to try to change that. Sergeant McGuigan, let's give them a proper Christmas. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Please, sir.
Enjoy those cookies. Oh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Tell Paul to stop being so lazy. I will, trust me. <laughs> Bye, guys. Awful. <laughs> okay, your sister's cookies. Oh, thank you. Um, Olivia, this is Paul. Hi. Olivia is in charge of the toy drive this year. Oh, great. Well, if you need help with anything, just ask. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> hey, did you get my text? Captain wants you at SR Intel, even though you're down. Copy that. All right, and your sister says stop being so lazy. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. So I guess I can't ask how he broke his leg, can I? Sure, playing basketball. Is that the truth? Paul's an unbelievable soldier. I trust him with my life, but not on a basketball court. <laughs> this is where he broke his leg, in this gym. Okay. What you do, what you don't talk about, doesn't it scare you? Of course it does, but I don't let it stop me. And I do talk about it, just not out loud. <laughs> you know, I have this place that I go that helps me sort some things out. I'll show you. Maybe you'd like it. I come here before and after every mission. And sometimes in between. It's been a long time since I've been in a church. What if I don't really believe anymore? We all go for different reasons. We don't have to go in if it makes you uncomfortable. I know where you were today. What do you mean? Hayes texted me. She said you were with her dad. All day long. Oh, don't read anything into that. We're working together. <laughs> what? I know you like him. Have some fun. God, you can be so boring sometimes. Oh, don't you have homework to do? <laughs> Has he asked you? No. I, and I'm too busy anyway. Hey, so you're not mad at me anymore for making this move? No, I'm not mad. I'd like if we could spend Christmas at home this year, like a real family. I like this house. Are you ever going to finish unpacking? <laughs> Fast, folks. Get them soon before they sell out. It's for the soldiers and their families. I mean, many can't afford trees. We want to surprise them for Christmas. Don't you think we owe them that, at least at this time of year? And in return, I will put up signage for your business in every local branch of the Coastal National Bank and, and have each one of our tellers hey, can, can, can I say something? Yes, of course, please. Uh, how many families are we talking here? As many as you can help with. It's a lot of oh. free publicity and good karma. And do you know how many people come into our branches every day? I just imagine the smiles on those kids' faces. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check my inventory, see if there's something I can do. Thank you. Yeah. Here's our contact info. Okay. Good. Great, thanks. I look forward to your call. Okay, Good, right? Moving on. Grocery stores, toy stores, department stores. Sergeant, let's go. Yeah, this is a pretty big operation you got up there in your head, isn't it? Uh, operation Christmas, very good. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom.
You hear back from them? Yeah. Your mom said Hayes needed help with something at exactly this time. Is Hayes always so specific? Yes, but my mom sounded strange. Something's going on. Whoa! Charlie, what are you guys up to? Madam, sir, please come in. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my This is amazing. God. Welcome to a Christmas dinner and whistle. Your coats, please. So much work. Two, thank you. Good evening. I'll be escorting you to your table. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look what they've done. That's yeah, pretty sweet. Best spot in Whistler. Don't be boring. <clears throat> Please, have a seat. <laughs> Menu for this evening. Prepared by our executive chef. Ta-da! Oven roasted turkey with stuffing, cranberry sauce, mashed potato, our Christmas special. And for dessert, we have Christmas Yule log cake, followed by chocolate dipped strawberries. Come on, kids, let's get your coats. Where are you guys going? They're showing It's a Wonderful Life at the base auditorium. You two can help yourselves. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come on, kids. And bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Well, to, um... Whistler. Whistler. <laughs> oh, that's better. Out of the work clothes? Yes. <laughs> oh. You okay? Well, we got to admit that kids set us up pretty brilliantly. <laughs> yeah. But an Islanders fan and a Kings fan? Clearly our kids know nothing about the real world. Clearly they know nothing. <laughs> in Whistler, I said I wasn't interested in a relationship. Well, I remember. What about now? Well, I should tell you that I have some issues. <laughs> yeah, well, so do I. We all do. I guess. It's all we really have is the here and now. That's true. Why don't we... do something that we did not get a chance to do in Whistler? What's that? go it was wonderful romantic he's so sweet it's been a long time since i felt so oh finally is this thing straight sure yeah it felt good that's just one question that i keep asking myself and i don't want to seem like i'm diving in too soon or jumping to conclusions but do you think i'm up for this army life it's not for everyone you know it's tough she seems the type of woman who's up for any kind of challenge. Yeah, she seems it, but... Give it a minute. She wasn't born to this life the way we were. Come on, Scott. If this is meant to be... You're right. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Ugh. Playing it safe gets you nowhere. I mean, look at me. I wanted to be a singer, remember? Oh, in high school you were a star. And then in college all the I chickened stuff. out. I, I played it safe. That's how this drama queen ended up working at a life insurance company. Oh, man. But if I could just sing again, 
That would be the dream. Well, then you will sing again. Mm -hmm. Sing for me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Christmas Carol? Perfect. Okay. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch our keeping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have given me a brilliant idea. Thank you, Heather. Yay. Yes. What is it? A Christmas review. We'll make a part of Operation Christmas. My daughter's school choir rocks. My sister has an amazing voice. I'm not so bad on the piano. And I'm really good at telling people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're my assistant. <laughs> See, there must be dozens of people on bass who have all sorts of different talents. Christmas carols, skits dancing, pure holiday joy. Well, at least it's something we can do while we're waiting to see if these stores or Christmas trees actually come through. And I'd like this show to be a fundraiser. A fundraiser? Yeah, to raise funds to reopen the Family Deployment Center. I'll talk to General Holt, but I like it. Count me in. Me too. Thanks, guys. I love it. I can't imagine General Holt saying no. The guy sings in a barbershop quartet. It's a great baritone. So you're in? Olivia, I'm married to a soldier. Of course I'm in. I hope we can pull it off. What's this I hear about you having problems getting stores to donate? Or... Oh, we have spent the week begging, imploring, cajoling, and every single place has had an excuse. It's the economy, or they already support this cause or that cause. It feels like we've hit a wall. I've never met a wall that could stop the army. <laughs> My BFF, Anne, from college. Her dad owns Kramer's. The department store. Yes. Clothes, shoes, toys, all made right here in our beautiful state. Can you call your friend now? I sure can. Hey, Sarah. Anne, you're on speakerphone. Hey, Anne. Hi. Let's talk Operation Christmas. I'm listening. Let's hear it. Shopping carts of food, bags of clothes for every family on base, toys galore, big wow. Sarah's amazing. You're amazing. Oh, please. What Sarah did... She wouldn't have done any of that if it wasn't for you. <laughs> That's the truth, so can you please take a compliment? If I was so amazing, then Mr. Sweeney from the Christmas tree lot would have returned at least one of my dozen phone messages. Um, probably more like two dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Us. Mm. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey mom, what's up? <gasps> hey guys. Hey Scott. <laughs> hey uh, Sergeant McWigan. Yeah. Mr. Swinney says Merry Christmas. You and Mrs. Young? Yes. Mr. Sweeney says, stop calling. <laughs> he also says you can't have a tree without all the trimmings. Another three trucks on the way. That's great. Joy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is fantastic. Now will you take a compliment? It's amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to be so happy. It has been a fantastic day. You were right. I was. Being part of something bigger than yourself is an incredible feeling. My choir director says we're in. That's fantastic. Can I be the wise man? I think there should be a wise woman in there. And that's me. <sighs> Excuse me. McGuigan. Yes, Captain. Do you sing Mrs. McGuigan? Oh, no, no. Tone deaf. <laughs> but I am good at sewing, so I could help with the costumes. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Merry Christmas. I know there's so many. Of them. <laughs> it's gonna be a great Christmas. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> They're endless. Yes. You gotta go right now. Oh, I'm just on alert. 
And you can't say where or why. Hey, Nishim, I made your favorite dessert. Lemon meringue pie. All right, they're watching a movie. This is what I do. Well, we knew this time was gonna come eventually. This life isn't for everyone. <laughs> no. No, it's not. But what it's taught me is to live in the moment. All we really have is the here and now. So let's make the most of that. And tomorrow... Okay, sweetie. Yeah. Just wondering if you're okay. Honey, I'm fine. Come here. Just been a long day, you know? Yeah. Can you sing it in choir? I can sing it if you want. Yeah, I'd like that. We have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing the joyous streams. Military operation. <sighs> Couldn't have done it without all those guys you enlisted. We've done everything. Mm -hmm. Trees, lights, gifts, food. And now we have a show to put on. You done good. We did good. Listen, I'm probably gonna have to leave soon. So we should maybe celebrate Christmas early. Saying you're gonna be back for Christmas? I'm saying I don't know. Well, you can't say, won't say, no, don't, don't say. Don't make this harder than it already is. I'm just confused. Okay, I don't know how to feel. I don't want you to go. I'll be back. I should go. Yeah. Well, what about early Christmas? I'll talk to the kids. Day. 
Sergeant McGuigan invited... Well, his name's Scott. Okay. Well, Scott invited us to... I know. He's already texted us. Early Christmas at their place. Well, how do you feel about that? Charlie and I think it's cool. We get to celebrate Christmas twice. How do you feel about it? Mom, seriously. Everything has a risk. Is he worth it? I say yes. And I also say it's okay to be scared. It just means you care. <sighs> There's more laundry in the dryer, please. And when did you grow up? <laughs> <gasps> oh, you've done it now. I have? Ahem. <clears throat> And you can donate at any branch of the Coastal National Bank to support the troops and their families at Fort Wilcox to give them the best Christmas ever. Let's get the Family Deployment Center back up and running. Coastal National Bank will match every dollar donated. This is Operation Christmas. So Coastal National will match every dollar donated? You said if you were out to email the president, so I did. He liked the idea, gave me the go ahead. I CC'd you on all correspondence. Oh yes, I read all the emails. General Holt called the president of the bank to thank him himself. That's good, right? The Family Deployment Center helps soldiers transition between here and there and back again, all while supporting families during deployment. General Holt started it 15 years ago. To have it back would mean everything to him. So I suppose it's only a matter of time before you become a manager. Well, isn't that why you're doing this? No, actually. Well, everyone at Fort Wilcox is so selfless. All they do is give. They deserve a special Christmas. Hmm. You know something? Okay. I like you. Twist it, and you want to flip it up. I like one motion. Perfect. That's a meat. Yeah. Mom, are you okay? It's time we finished unpacking. Right now? I jumped into all this stuff at Fort Wilcox, and our own house is still in disarray. Okay. Olivia, I need to feel like this is home. So tonight, we are going to finish getting this place ready for the holidays. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Home for Christmas. What? I thought we were going to Sergeant Thames for Christmas. Oh, honey, we are. Early Christmas, we are. But he's leaving soon, and we need to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye to Sergeant Deb. Me neither. But it's his job. It's what he does. So, everybody get a box. Your size. Hi, we'll dig in for this one. I have to ask, 
How do you do this? Faith, keeping positive, the other army wives and husbands, their strength in numbers, you know. I don't think I have it in me to deal with army life. You guys are all so much stronger than me. But Olivia, I can see that you love him. This life is so much different than I've ever known. I would drive him crazy. He's leaving soon. Rangers don't leave the base to play games. He'll be on his mind. You need to talk to him. He's just running a little late. Okay. Um, can we stop for a second? I was hoping for something, I don't know, a little more upbeat. How about 12 days of Christmas? Yeah, and then every member of the choir would have a solo and it would take the pressure off me a little bit. That'd be cool. Excellent idea, guys. Would you get them in here and rehearse it? Okay. You know, Mommy, I'm pretty good at this. Don't tell anyone, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. My lips are sealed. Hi, Sarah. Hi. You're bringing reinforcements. Cavalry. May I introduce the fabulous Fort Wilcox dancers? Love it. And these guys are what I call all-purpose dancers and singers. Whatever we need. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Becky, would you take them over there and assign them numbers? No problem. Then there's me. I've been in six musicals, two dramas, an Agatha Christie mystery, and I've even played Tiny Tim when I was little. <laughs> Sarah, you are extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> so does extraordinary get a solo? You should hear my version of Santa Baby. Done. Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I can't stay. We have a recon briefing. How's it going here? Hectic. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, do you hear anything? Yeah, we leave tomorrow. It'll be okay. Sorry to interrupt. I need your help. It's the dancers. Go ahead. I gotta run anyway. Okay, um, I need to talk to you soon. And all of a sudden, there he was. Ben. My handsome, wonderful Benjamin. Home two months early. Surprise. Of course, I lose it. With all that mascara running down my face, I look like a blubbering raccoon. <laughs> Reunions make it all worthwhile, don't they? I'm so excited for my next one. You'll be having yours real soon. Actually, no. What? what? Yeah, um, I just found out this morning that Joe and his squadron are staying on for a few more months. Oh, Becky, I'm so sorry. I know he was going to be here for the birth. It's okay, I'm so emotional right now. We'll be here. Thanks. I know I can always count on you gals. Olivia? Olivia? You all right? Oh, yeah. Sorry, just tired. So much on my plate. Operation Christmas, the bank, kids. There should be more hours in the day. You don't need to pretend, Olivia. You're one of us now. We get it. You're worried. Scott's a good man. He deserves the truth. I know. What is it? Whoa. It's a Morse code signal light. Here. Whoa. It works. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sasha Ken. Oh, you're welcome. Merry Christmas, buddy. And Hayes, I made something special for you. Danielle, boom. Whoa. Oh, it's an ornament. Look, Daddy, it's so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Every Christmas day, we get one that has our name and the year on it. 
and we put it on the tree. My parents started with me and my sister, so I carried on the tradition with my kids. Something to be said for tradition. Yeah. Come on, Hayes, put it on the tree. Yeah, good spot. Come on. Oh, that's a good spot. It's beautiful. I love you. <gasps> I love you too. Merry early Christmas. Merry early Christmas. Oh, Danielle, you're up. so close and I want that to continue but I don't have it in me to live this army life I, I, I just don't why you're ending this two Christmases cut short I mean it just feels like it wasn't meant to be I completely disagree it feels so meant to be I look at you. I see a hero. And an amazing man. And I need you to know how much I respect that. But I know what it feels like to be left alone. And I can't go back there. I can't be with someone who might have to go at any moment, not knowing where you are, if you're okay or not. If, You're afraid of the unknown. Life is full of unknowns. I could be a school teacher and get in a car wreck on my way to work. It happens. Scott. It happened. To my wife. And sure, what I do puts me in harm's way a little more. I get that. When I look at you, do you know what I see? I see you. Your kids are happy. You got a new job that you love. New friends, a sense of community, a sense of family. And a guy who's crazy about you. You're gonna let what? Fear? Stop all that. Olivia, what do you need? What can I do? Let us happen. That fear is real for me. I can't. I'm sorry. I made this one for you. It's an extra Christmas present. Like it? Mom, come on. You gotta see this.
disappeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary soul rejoices for yonder brings a new and glorious morn. Thank you, thank you. You on the piano, that was fabulous. <laughs> so, are you single? <laughs> okay, well, that is definitely making it in the show. Guys, we still need a finale. Oh, don't I know it. Every idea I've come up with so far stinks. That's one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, better decide on something soon. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, thank you so much for asking me to do that. It was so fun being on stage again. You did so good. Thank you. But there is one thing I have to tell you. Oh, that's very important. What? You're an idiot. Everybody can see that you like him. Why can't you? You love Scott. You make it sound so simple. Because it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. I went to the church to say goodbye and it tore me up. I don't even know where he's going. To keep us safe. <laughs> By putting himself in danger. I don't know how to live that way. Okay, well, hold on a second. So you learn. Oh, after your divorce, you just, you put up this wall that even I couldn't deal with, and, and then you wanted to bring your kids here and start a whole new chapter. Well, wake up, Olivia. This is your new chapter. Do not put up another wall, please. Besides, did you ever consider that maybe you won't lose him? Just saying. You're gonna deny yourself and Scott and the kids' happiness based solely on what ifs, on fear, putting your entire life on hold for something that might never happen. I'm sorry, but that is not my sister. That, that is a coward. And I only say that because I love you. Just think about it. You should have said something earlier at rehearsal. Well, I don't want to be a bother. No, seriously. <sighs> Let's get you to bed. Some rest. Yeah. Get off your feet. Yeah. Oh, the baby. Oh. It's time. <sighs> okay, keys, but, keys. But it's not due for another 10 days. Oh, he doesn't care about that. Okay. okay. Which one is this? Oh, Which one is oh, it? This, this one right here. This one? Okay, okay. Should I call 911? Yes, call 911. There won't be time. There won't be time. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. We're delivering a baby. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, get some hot water. Meet our baby boy. Simon Joseph Fowler. He's beautiful. He has your nose. <laughs> Ten fingers and ten toes. He's in perfect health and so am I. I'm so sorry I wasn't there, babe. I'm sorry you had to do this on your own. Oh, Joe, stop it. I was fine. Oh, Olivia and Sarah were fine.
baby boy, how wonderful. Yes, it's a miracle. Oh, it's a miracle. Here, here, let me take your coat. Oh, thank you. Come in, come in. Oh, I'm exhausted. I bet you are. Oh. <laughs> um, any word from Scott? No, no, we never hear. Come in. You know, uh, I disagree that you don't have it in you to love a soldier. You just have to choose to do it, that's all. If you're in love, you choose love. That's what my husband and I did, and no one ever took that away. I just don't know Please, how. Please, don't run away. When Scott talks about you, his whole face lights up. You should see that. <laughs> Jill. Yes. Why aren't you afraid for him right now? You think I'm not afraid? I am. So what do you do? I try not to fret over things I can't control. And if I lose perspective, I find a quiet place. And I pray. Hey. I thought you might be here. I love this church. Yeah. So peaceful. Hey. I'm an uncle now. Thanks for what you did last night. You're welcome. It was an experience. I wish I was there. With Scott in my unit. I'm a part of them. What if something happens? to your unit. I don't come back. You can't think like that. We have a job to do. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. I finally know what I need. Which is what I want. I'll be fine. Charlie? What are you doing? Seeing if Sergeant Tim gets my message. I miss him. I know, honey. I'm sending him an SOS, but... He's not answering. We don't know where he is. But he's probably really far away. It would have to be a really strong light to carry a message that far. But if he did see it, he would have to send a message back home, right? Because if he didn't, we wouldn't know he was okay. Genius needs his sleep. So, let's get to bed. Okay. You know, if you want to marry him, Danielle and I, we're cool with that. Just saying. Okay, can we get the army drill team in here? Yep. Where are they? Are we really going to pull this okay, off? Okay, Olivia, breathe, breathe, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and again, in through the nose. 
sunsets. We put together a great team. The dance troupe is going to be fabulous. This isn't even close to my worst dress rehearsal. It's a great show. Okay. Hey! Sorry I'm late. You can blame my boss, but I am here now. So what can I do for you? Talk me off a ledge. What? You've got a great show. Don't worry about anything. No, 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 not that. I was an idiot about Scott. You were right. Do you think he'll forgive me? Sure. And I'm always right. You know what? Just relax. Let's just put on a show. Okay. Okay. Oh, what? General Holt. Sir, um, Olivia Roberts. So nice to finally meet you. Thank you for being here. I have a favor to ask you. Would you introduce the finale? I'd be honored. And, uh, we may have a little surprise for you. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay, dismay Remember Christ our Savior was born upon this day, this day To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy Comfort and joy, joy, comfort and joy Thank you. Thank you all for being here and making this happen. The songs and the dancing have been purely delightful on this eve before Christmas. And I would like to send out a heartfelt army salute to Ms. Roberts and all the fine folks at Coastal National Bank for doing so much to give these families such a very, very special Christmas. Can we turn the lights up on Ms. Roberts? Where is she? <laughs> there she is. She's in the booth. Ms. Roberts. Olivia. I wanted to save the best news for last. The bank just informed me that your fundraising campaign was a success and the Family Deployment Center will reopen in the new year. <laughs> it's great news. I owe you my personal debt of gratitude. Thank you. And now, we have a little bit of a special surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the MacArthur High School Choir. Q-Lighting 3. As well as your brave men and women serving overseas.
On behalf of everyone at Fort Wilcox. He's here. And all of our men and women in uniform around the world. And the families who support them, we wish you the warmest and merriest of Christmases. I'm so glad you're home. Me too. Look, I know that this is hard on you, but I can't go away again not knowing if you'll be here. Shh. I'll be here. I belong here. I love you. I love you. My Christmas wish came true. <laughs> Mine too. Merry Christmas, everyone.